Hey everybody, welcome to On Stage. I'm Fiona Forbes and this is my trusty little co-host Chewbacca Forbes, who I believe is getting kind of sick of me. I didn't think that was possible, but I'm so happy to have my furry little friend here. And welcome to On Stage. It is our live concert series and before the world changed, we used to shoot this show and we will again someday, but not right now, in our studios with a live audience. But we decided a couple weeks back that we wanted to continue to bring you the music any way we can. And that is what we're doing with On Stage. That's why I'm here in my living room and we are connecting you with Canadian musicians wherever they may be in the world to bring you some music and hopefully bring you some joy. And we do have a great show coming up for you today. Now, when I was scrolling through the interwebs, as I am wont to do, probably far too much, I don't want to look at my screen time these days, but that's okay because it passes the time. I was so happy when I uh, found this video of Kurt Smith. If you don't recognize that name, you're probably not like me. I was such a huge fan of Tears for Fears and he was one of the two members Members. and uh, he did an acoustic version of one of my favorite songs by Tears for Fears called Mad World but it's not the other guy from Tears for Fears who's singing with him it's actually his daughter Diva who's he's in quarantine right now with in his home in Los Angeles so here's a little bit of a listen to Mad World and I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had I find it hard to tell you cause I find it hard to take When people run in circles it's a very, very mad world And that is Kurt Smith and his daughter Diva from their home in Los Angeles making beautiful music. I still love that song and uh, still, you know what, I'm going to have to listen to their album today. It was one of my favorites when I was a teen. So something else that people are doing to cheer folks up is bringing music to their neighborhood. Uh, I've heard some violins, some pianos around here in Kitsilano. Well, people in St. Louis got a tuba. Now that might sound a little bit odd, but uh, this is a couple of family members who decided to take their tuba and serenade their neighborhood with Stand By Me. Here they are. So cute. And last but not least, uh, we all now look forward to 7 p.m. to give our big cheer for our healthcare workers, and we cannot thank them enough. And that 7 p.m. cheer is bringing so many of us a little bit of joy in these difficult days. I know there's pots and pans, people have been getting out tambourines, anything that they can make noise with. I've heard a few vuvuzelas. And on Friday in my neighborhood, I did hear a few people hearing O Canada, which I hear is catching on. I wasn't lucky enough to be in the same neighborhood as uh, the person I'm gonna show you right now, but who who comes to mind when you think about O Canada in Vancouver? Is Mr. O Canada himself put on his tuxedo and serenaded his neighborhood? Here he is. O Canada, we stand on God. And that was Mark Donnelly joining in on the 7 p.m. cheer. Uh, a lot of people are singing Oh Canada. I'm going to be one of them tonight. And wow, did that video ever make me miss hockey? Uh, we'll have it back someday soon, people. But I'm so glad that Mark Donnelly is bringing a little joy to his neighborhood. Anyway, on to the show. Uh, we are so proud to be partnered with Music Heals Canada in this little endeavor that we're doing to bring you some joy in your day with music. So you can go to 
Music Heals website, there is a donate button right on the top right. If you are one of the people who has money to give, feel free to donate. But if you don't, I encourage you to go to the website and learn a little bit more about music therapy and how music can help us through these uncertain times. And we have been connecting with some incredible musicians, Canadian musicians, wherever they happen to be in the world. Matthew Presidente is in the West End of Vancouver and he's joining me right now. Matthew, how are you? Oh, I'm excellent. How are you doing, Fiona? It's so nice to talk to you. So nice to talk to you too. And I am doing the best I can under the circumstances uh, that we're all in. And Matthew, you've been playing music for a long time around town and we uh, totally loved your happy sound. You've been doing music from your home. So let's talk a little bit about your music and what you've been doing. Oh, sweet. Well, um, recently I've been playing more with my rock band. Um, out at different clubs and venues around town. So obviously when we get into a self-isolation situation, it's uh, harder to do that. So I've gone a bit back to my roots, doing some solo piano and vocal stuff, revisiting some older tunes, writing some new ones. And for me, it's been a nice change of pace. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. So we've decided to broadcast weekly and put on a little show for everybody. And your little show is called The World is Watching. It airs, uh, you're doing it Monday nights at around 8 o'clock. Tell me a little bit more about it. Exactly. Yes, so um, World is Watching, we've decided to do, uh, we, as in me and a few of my musician friends, more of a collaborative show. Uh, a few years ago, I used to have a show on Davie Street we do weekly. And it was about, I would host the show, do a few tunes, it was more like a curated open mic. We'd have lots of different guest stars come up, do lots of duets, lots of collaborations. So I wanted to kind of do a version of that, but online. So this show, The World is Watching, airs weekly on Monday nights. We're bringing in uh, talent from all over the world, producing the numbers in advance. So they're going to be duets that have been mixed nicely and recorded with different video. And then we put it all together in a 45 minute concert that streams live on YouTube Monday nights for everyone to watch. Awesome idea, Matthew. And how has, uh, music obviously has been in your life for a very long time, but how has music specifically help you get through this difficult time that we're in self-isolating and of course uh, the terrible news of the pandemic? Uh, Fiona, it's helped in a lot of different ways actually. Um, for me, music is my passion, it's uh, my creative outlet. So it's perfect to be able to have this time to focus on it. It's a little bit of a distraction, but it can also help me process, you know, my feelings and my emotions and hopefully turn that into something that's able to entertain other people out there. Because I know that not everyone has the luxury of having a, you know, a side project or uh, craft that they can do. A lot of people are having a very hard time being alone and I'm hoping that uh, bringing this music to people's homes can be something nice for them to look forward to every week as well. And Matthew, you seem to have a very positive outlook about the situation that we're all in. Uh, you're about three weeks into self isolation isolation. How, what are your words of advice for people who are feeling lonely or, or are having a more difficult time? Yeah, um, I, I'm trying to stay optimistic, um, obviously focusing on what I like to do, which is music. And it's been keeping me very busy, but I know it's not as easy for everyone. So I find if you're sitting there, if you're having a hard time, Try to connect with people. Try to connect with the friends you haven't talked to in a long time. I've sure enjoyed um, video calling and being on the phone and texting back and forth with people who I, you know, have grown out of touch with over the years. It's been really nice to reconnect in some sort of way, and I've taken a lot of comfort in that, and I think other people could too. Also finding, um, you know, something to keep you busy. If you have a craft, if you enjoy music, if you enjoy exercise, you can do at home. Keeping some sort of daily routine um, has been really nice. I also like to uh, make the bed every morning. That's been really important for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently that can make you have a better day. Perhaps I should make mine, but Matthew, so well said and such great advice. Thank you so much for bringing your positivity. It's been an absolute pleasure to chat with you. Thank you so much. It's great to uh, get to chat with you. This is really cool. I'm excited to uh, be a part Here. of this amazing show. Well, thank you for sharing your music, Matthew. And as Matthew said, uh, he has a music show that he is doing every Monday night at around 8 o'clock. If you want to find out more about Matthew and his music, you can go to his website. It's MatthewPresidente.com and all the info about his show is there and how you can connect with him on social media as well. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, here is Matthew Presidente.
On my one track mind, I just need for you to be mine. Ah, ah, in life and love, I'm on love at nine. I just need for you to be mine. One, two, three, for you to be mine would be a sign of the times. Make the mountains collide, please the stars in the sky. Let the planets align, will make me feel so divine. Be the perfect reprise. Peace would never alter the flow. Took the test down in the city of taste. Yeah, you broke the rules without raising the stakes. You looked for faith in the people that you met. You realized you got a lot more to learn yet. And I found the truth. American dream, yeah, 
And I saw the fold And what I wanted to say Gotta keep my eyes on the road But don't throw your time Into petty situations Don't let your energies On things that are hard to rule Don't let your demons Take control of over you oh, Remember your growth I'm growing up, I'm gonna grow up to be just like, just like, just like you. I found my little fur in downtown BC, and I made the move, and I took the break, and I looked for faith. In the people that I love I realized I got a lot more to learn Yeah Thank you It's a real tough question To ask what's on your mind When we're pretty sure we're going in the right direction it's a matter of time till we mess it all up with the resurrection of the shit that we collide through, never really knowing if our intentions or even rap or liar. So be patient. I get ahead.
And thank you once again to Matthew Presidente for being a part of the show. If you are a musician out there and you're making some tunes at home, we want to hear them. Just go to our website. It's onstagelive.tv and go to artist submissions and all the info and how to get your music to us and how to get on the show is right there for you. We have a lot of great musicians coming up this week, but we have lots of room for more. And of course, we couldn't be doing this without the help of our generous sponsor, Chambers Plan Group Insurance. So a big thank you to them for making this happen and a big thank you to this guy Chewbacca Forbes you can follow Chewy on Instagram he's smiling Chewy um, he gets more likes and comments than any Yorkie I know so be sure to give him a follow because uh, it'll bring a smile to your day and we will see you tomorrow so please do tune in to find out who will be on stage right Chewy <laughs> did I bore you I did not again Come on, aren't you my biggest fan? Are you my only fan? <laughs> you won't even look at me.